the Duggar family's church is reportedly upset that they've worn pants. Being a Duggar means abiding by strict rules. The female members of the ultra-conservative family not only have to follow rules when it comes to dating and social media, but they also have to follow a dress code. The only problem is that some of the daughters have rebelled by wearing pants which is a strict no-no in the eyes of the 19 kids and counting family and their church. That some members of the congregation are upset that the sisters' husbands have allowed them to wear pants. According to an anonymous commenter who claims to be part of the family's church, the young women are allowing women who come in contact with them to be defrauded, insinuating that they are forcing the man in question to lust after them. She also claims this is everything God is against, the website explained. Jill's husband Derek Dillard posted the above photo recently commending his Christ-centered wife. My beautiful wife speaking to a group of young ladies at a school today about God-centered relationships, so proud of her, he wrote. You know what he didn't mention, her clothing. Looks like he doesn't care what she wears. His followers were quick to comment on the shocking break from her usual wardrobe. Wearing pants, that's different. How does Jim Bob and Michelle feel about this, one commenter asked. Another wrote, while wow, she's wearing pants. That's the first thing I noticed. Good for her. Of course, the most common pants-wearing offender is definitely ginger. When it comes to a wild child, ginger is about as close as it comes in the Duggar household. The 24-year-old reality star has frequently worn pants and even shorter skirts. According to Mother Michelle Duggar, that's not a modest way of dressing. As we studied as a family, we found we could come up with our idea of what we thought modesty was, but we really wanted to see what the scripture said about it, she explained. Our interpretation was that from the neck down to the knee should be covered. By keeping those private areas covered, there's not any defrauding going on. My kids are taught the definition of defrauding is stirring up desires that cannot be righteously fulfilled. We don't believe in defrauding others by the way we dress. Let us know what you think in the comments section below.